Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I'm at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay for the very first time. I'm so excited to ride all the coasters here, explore the park, and a lot more. So how about you and I dive right in. Made it to the parking lot, and you know, first impression, I was not expecting Montu to be uh, sitting in this particular spot. It's funny, when you see it on television, on YouTube, you think Montu is kind of out in the open somewhere, but no, it's actually right next to the preferred parking lot. Even Cobra, Cobra's Curse right there in the distance, too. I'm really excited to ride both these coasters and all the rest of the coasters at the park. Busch Gardens, Tampa. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, look at that, while we're in line for security, there goes Cheetah Hunt. Another one of my bucket list coasters. Looks like we're gonna be able to do this today because I thought it was gonna be closed today for maintenance, but no, it looks like it's open. All right, we've made it inside the park. This is like the little entrance area. We have village snacks right there. Oh yeah, like Iron Gwazi off in the distance. Yeah, a little bummed that it's not open just yet, but thankfully we do have an opening day. I'm really looking forward to that. I'll definitely be out here when they uh, open that attraction. But thankfully there's a lot to do today at Busch Gardens. Making our way to Cheetah Hunt, and look at this. We're in the voodoo scare zone, because they're, yeah, remember, they're doing Hollow Scream for a few more weeks. That thing is pretty amazing. I love that. So shout out to whoever uh, created that little uh, voodoo character. Looks pretty awesome. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. For the longest time I've been wanting to do this one, and my good buddy Mario from Mostly Coasters is hanging out today. Good. I sure am. You're gonna, well, you're gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> this whole segment, I'm just gonna leave it in. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you're gonna be my tour guide today because, I, again, I've never been here before. This is my first time. And you know this park really well because you actually used to work here at Busch Gardens. I sure did. I worked Shikra, which is down today. I know. I don't know, we'll see. Gina Hopefully, was supposed to be down and it's not, so we'll see. Yeah, so today's kind of a little bit topsy-turvy, so we don't really know what's open and what's closed. So we're just gonna enjoy the day as it's presented to us. But yeah, let's head over to Cheetah Hunt and uh, our first ride in for the day. It's the front entrance of Cheetah Hunt around the corner here, and then off to the right, they have the Cheetah exhibit. Oh my goodness, there's one like laying down right there on the ground. I love some of the theming that they've done in the queue here, and they have this giant like sculpture down over here. Yeah, we're on the back side of it, but it's a giant rock sculpture of a cheetah. And look at this, we've got some uh, cheetah hunt fun facts. 4,400 feet of track, a maximum speed of 60 miles an hour, four Gs, and a height of 102 feet. I'm down. Next up is Cobra's Curse. Let's do this. This is a spinning roller coaster, super unique. Let's give this one a shot. Going into the queue here, it looks like we're going into like an archeological dig site. Beware of snakes. And look at this, in the queue they have a real live snake right there in the corner. That's a big snake, my goodness. That's awesome though. And Mario was pointing out some of the theming elements in here, which are quite nice. Like this is, it's almost giving me like Revenge of the Mummy vibes. Oh.
see that's like totally re-rideable. Like you can do oh, this yeah. one over and over and over again. So much fun on both of those roller coasters, but we're gonna continue our trek through the park, going into like this jungle setting here. I'm sure we're gonna see some nanimals. It's gonna be cool. Says, uh, oh yeah, Falcon's Furies over here, which is another one of the attractions here at Bush Gardens I've been wanting to ride for the longest time. It's that free fall attraction where the seats articulate and you face the ground as you plummet all the way back down to earth. I'm so excited. Yeah, Cheetah Hunt and Cobra's Curse, a lot of fun. Smooth rides, not jerky at all, fun experience. And Cobra's Curse, it's one of those family coasters that packs a little punch, which is nice. We've made it over to the hippo exhibit. Look at all of the beautiful fish. They're just kind of chilling, vibing out, but off in the distance here, there's our hippopotamus. Having a nice little bite to eat for lunch. Way too hot for it to be out of the water. I know, it is pretty warm. Oh, there goes a lemur. Did you see him? There he goes. But uh, yeah, hopefully a hippo jumps back in the water. I mean, I would definitely be in the water. It is a scorcher here in Tampa. Look at this, we've made, oh, there's something over there. <laughs> made it over <laughs> to the Nile crocodile exhibit. Look at this behemoth of a lizard. That thing is so scary. I mean, they're ma like that thing would eat you. The thing is massive. It would, yeah. Incredible, incredible creature. And you know, while we're walking through this particular section of the trail, got a really nice shot of Iron Gwazi. That first drop on Iron Gwazi, it looks absolutely stunning in person. I've seen it so many times on uh, online and everything, but seeing it in person, that drop is pretty gnarly. Continuing our exploration around Bush Gardens, I really like how the park is very open in some bits. Like over here, you get really good views of Cheetah Hunt and the railroad, and of course, a lot of the animal exhibits. I think we got an animal care center here. I think the next attraction we're working our way towards is Falcon's Fury, which is their drop tower. I was explaining before. Super stoked for this one. Approaching Falcon's Fury, and look at how beautiful this section of the park is. I do love the colors. Mario was just talking about that. I love the reds and the orange. Little bits of yellow here and there to complement. And of course, that blue on the tower in the distance. It's very nice. Over here at Dragonfire, yeah, I love all the colors on the buildings. It looks like they're getting ready for uh, the holidays as well. But all the decorations on the side, I love that purple wall. And then look at this dragon made of the different pieces of tile. That is really neat. There's actually a lot of thematic elements in this particular section of the park. I love, I'm a huge fan of drop towers. My favorite is probably Drop of Doom back at Magic Mountain. But this is something new. This is gonna be a great sensation. Well, this, this is just like every other drop ride, nothing special. <laughs> nothing too special. Okay, we're slowing down. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is pretty gnarly. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Slightly terrifying. <laughs> oh my God, this is intense. Oh, okay, that was amazing. That was good? That was good. I'm, we're gonna have to do that like 20 more times. Well, there's no line, so there's nothing stopping <laughs> that was it. That so cool. Pulling up to this gorgeous theater, look at how grand the building is when you walk up to it. Love that. Yeah, I mean, look at this pretzel stand. They didn't have to go overboard with it, but they did, and I absolutely love that they decided to just kind of theme it all out. I love the top of the buildings there, the pieces of wood sticking out. It's nice. As we're cruising on through, here's a pretty much an overview of the park. Here's the park map, and we're about this area right here, and we still have all this to explore. There's a lot going on here at Busch Gardens. The park is pretty big. It's funny, when you pull up, you don't really notice it when, you, when you're parking, but once you enter the gates, oh yeah, there's a lot going on here. Okay, our next attraction is probably one of the most iconic roller coasters, I would say, in the industry. Kumba, I've seen this on television many times. I've seen this on YouTube, I've seen it on the Discovery Channel, I've seen it on the Travel Channel. A great moment, almost like a little emotional moment because for years I saw this and I'm like, you know what, one of these days I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do Kumba. And now I'm here, finally able to ride.
I grayed out at the first like element. Oh yeah. <laughs> that it's was just really like, good. Positive from the drop till the break. Line. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Oh dang. <laughs> okay, just got off Kumba. Wow. Oh wow. That was that. That honestly lived up to all the hype. Because I knew this, I mean, one, the coaster is very iconic in the in the coaster community. And two, I kind of knew this one might be pretty intense. Oh yeah, Kumba does not disappoint. After that first inversion, the first vertical loop, gray out moment. The zero G roll, amazing. And then the portion right before the Cobra roll, you do like this really cool turn into this valley. Oh, it, it's, this is a perfect terrain coaster. It's got great elements. And you know what, for uh, an older B&M like this, for those that are know, know the coaster terminology, for an older BNM, uh, not too much of a rattle on this one. We sat very front row, which was very nice. Probably gonna do this one again later on in the back to see how that is. It might be a little bit more rough back there, but overall for how old this attraction is, pretty smooth. Now that we've done a couple coasters, it's time for a snack break. So I grabbed a bottle of water. We're back at this pretzel place I was talking about earlier. Look at how delicious these look. We got the salted pretzel up here, and then we have the cinnamon sugar pretzel down here. With this, they also have a pretzel hot dog. Dang, which one should I get? I don't know, they look, they both look really good. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll just do the classic salted pretzel. Got a nice little spot in the shade here, enjoying the ambiance here in the park. Next to Falcon's Fury, we could see Iron Gwazi in the background. Just taunting me, teasing me. I can't wait for that to open. And we have this uh, coaster right here, which is called Scorpion. Maybe after I eat the pretzel, I'll uh, jump on this bad boy. This one looks fun. But right now I'm gonna sit and relax for just a moment and enjoy salty, buttery goodness. Oh, that pretzel was so good. But next up for me is this beauty right here. This is a Scorpion. This is a Schwarzkopf roller coaster. Only three of these particular models were built. So this is a very rare credit which is really cool i love getting these particular coaster credits because yeah i mean it's only two other models that are left now when they built the other two models they were always meant to be traveling but this particular one they decided to build it stationary permanent and now it lives uh lives its little legacy here at bush gardens tampa bay i'm glad they've kept it around this is the oldest roller coaster in the park And for my Southern California viewers, if this particular coaster sounds familiar, well, it's because it is. This particular manufacturer also built Montezuma's Revenge. It's located at Knott's Berry Park. Continuing our journey around the park, look what we've stumbled upon. We've stumbled upon these little boat race uh, things. I, would you call it a boat race? I, I mean, that's what I've always kind of called them. You can race them if you want to. <laughs> yeah, like boat race, boat thing. It's a it's an upcharge, probably like a dollar or so. You know, the last time I saw one of these, was at Knott's Berry Farm years and years and years ago. They had one underneath uh, Windjammer. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong for those that remember Windjammer, but I believe there, yes, there was one under Windjammer. Yes, took that out. Windjammer is obviously gone, but I haven't seen one since, and it's actually kind of bringing back a lot of memories seeing this. And look at this, they don't just have boats, they have monster trucks. The Monster Truck Jam. All right, let's go check out some Nanimals to Tiger Trails and Tiger Pop-Up. This way over here, Mario's leading the way. Oh, hello, creature. It's a squirrel. Oh, and look at this. You can see this is how tall a tiger can stand, up to eight feet. You can stand up against the uh, the wall here and measure yourself. Yeah, these, these little kitty cats are not so little. Oh, there's the kitty cat down there. Oh yeah, next up for us is Sheikra. This B&M dive coaster looks so pretty in person. Yeah, look at that 90 degree drop. There they go, they're getting ready to drop down that hill. After the brake release, there they go. Whee! Iconic. And then we're kind of in this position uh, behind the splashdown. You guys are gonna see in just a moment how incredibly big the splash is. Here comes the train over that block section down the second drop. Bang, look at that. Okay, here it comes around the corner. I'm gonna not move the camera. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. 
know, I'm glad we were able to stand here for a little bit and enjoy the golden hour on Shikra. Another really iconic roller coaster here at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay, and especially this splashdown zone. I've always wanted to see this in person, and now I'm finally here enjoying it. It's so cool to see this coaster fly by and that massive wall of water gets shot up into the air. It's really cool in person. And you know, it's a perfect way to cool down, especially here in Florida. It's so hot during the summer. Oh, look at this, having a big bounce house. We're approaching the children's area of the park. I will say the layout of this park is quite interesting. You can get lost in Busch Gardens, which, I mean, it kind of adds to the exploration aspect of the park, but it is kind of, uh, if you're coming here for the first time, it is a little bit confusing. I can see how during Hollow Scream, it gets pretty scary because some of the, some of the, the pathways just kind of go into these, like, dark areas of the park so oh yeah mario and i have made it to the top of the treehouse well almost to the top there's still one more uh one more row we can one more set of stairs we can go up this is pretty cute over here there's a lot to do for the little ones they have little tiny flat rides for the little ones they even have a very unique attraction that is a little mini log flume i've never seen that before it's right over here and i got a little closer shot of it uh, again, never seen that before in any park. So unique. Didn't even know those existed, but there you go. Mini log flume for the little ones. They have just a really nice setup over here for the entire family to enjoy. And I love these nets. Very uh, SeaWorld San Diego. It's, that's what's uh, kind of giving me vibes of. Oh my goodness, I feel like Indiana Jones. I go okay. From the carousel that has like a teacup car on it. I mean, how fast do you think we can get that thing spinning? Not. It's probably so fast that we would like fly off of it. Have you seen that video of the dude that like spins like a teacup ride? And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wasn't it like at a fair or something and he like yeah, spun it so like fast? <laughs> this net complex I'm, is pretty I'm fun though. I'm actually having difficulty standing. It's yeah, this is, this is no easy task. This is pretty, very Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. That was pretty epic. You know, as we're walking around the park, I'm discovering that this place has a lot of little beautiful nooks and crannies to it. You know, animal enclosures are gorgeous. The rides and attractions are a lot of fun. And throughout the year, they do a bunch of festivals. They have the Beer Fest happening right now. Then they have Hollow Scream. They have a holiday event. They have uh, the Mardi Gras event. They have a food and wine event. There's a lot to do throughout the year here at Busch Garden. It's not just the rides and attractions. And yeah, it's been a blast today.
Oh, that was so much fun today, Bush Gardens, hanging out with Mario. Shout out to Mario for being the tour guide for the day and making sure we're on, uh, getting on pretty much. We did every uh, coaster that was open today, which is fantastic. That was my goal. I wanted to do all the major coasters and we did them. And we were able to do uh, an evening ride on Cobra's Curse. So two rides on Cobra, Cobra's Curse. That is pretty satisfying. And on the way out, you know, I always have to hit up the sweets. We got the cotton candy right here. Oh, dang, cotton candy is my addiction. But let's see what's in the case here. They have some donuts. Looks like they got Halloween donuts. Those look scrum diddly umptious. Peanut butter fudge, that looks good. Heath bar fudge, oh dude. We're getting one of those. Buy two squares and get one free? You sold me, I'm doing it. So we want, the, which one do you want? I'm getting the, yeah, it's two, dude. Buy two, get one free. We're gonna get, we're gonna get three of them. So which one do you want? I mean, Butterfinger sounds, all the candy bar ones sound amazing. Yeah. Well, we're definitely doing a Heath bar. Oh man. Oh, look at these, the cheesecakes. Oh my goodness, I can go hog wild in here. All right, Bush Gardens, it was a lot of fun. I can't wait to come back. All right, well that's gonna do it for today's video from Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. I hope you enjoyed it because I had a wonderful time coming here for the very first time. Super excited, I can't wait to come back. But if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description as well as a huge shout out. And a thank you to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. You guys are absolutely amazing. You help out tremendously in a lot of the video creation. So thank you, thank you so very much. It's a beautiful day at Busch Gardens, Tampa Bay. Like I said, I can't wait to come back especially for Iron Gwazi when that opens up in March of next year. I'm counting down the days for that one. That one's gonna be really exciting. The park is gorgeous. There's a lot to do for the entire family. And of course, I can't wait to try my fudge. <laughs> Looking forward to it. But, oh man, can't wait to come back. Until next time, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.